Now, this is all about valve job or three angle valve job because we're going to talk about the basics of it and we're going to try to keep it as layman's as possible this way everybody gets the point of it and the reason for that because of the video here the v2j head we did before a long time viewer rodman85 asked this right and i figured hey that's a good idea for a video to talk about it to discuss about the valve job the importance of it what it does and what leads to a better efficiency or how do you increase it yes and of course a good visual like this to show the changes and differences yep we're gonna try to make this better than the last one let's go <laughs> First things first, this is a new page. Like and follow, guys. I had to make a new one. There's a price that's there of head porting, cam degree, even engine delay. Everything is there. I had to make a new one because my old, the old page, I lost control of it when my personal Facebook got hacked. As you can see, we constantly post good stuff there. And the comment section is pretty good because there's a good discussion. A lot of times, we got to do have an idea on making what video to make because of the comments there. So like and follow i'll see you guys there all right and if you don't have facebook we got our instagram it's quite active too as it's also me who's in control of it i try to post the good stuff there so yep even there the comments hit me up we can always talk there believe it or not we also have our tiktok here it is i pinned three of my guitar videos for fun of course but if you like short form videos that one or here in tiktok is a pretty good check it out so we continue okay valve job and what it does here's the basic angles 45 30 and 60 yep and here in this drawing here never mind the intake manifold which is the diagram here pardon the crude drawing but the 45 degree is the seat angle which is where the valve seats and then the 30 is on the chamber cut at the top and the 60 in the throat so if if ever let's say you need the you want or need the 70 degree throat cut instead of making it more drastic because you have to stay within 15 degrees maximum because you know you're gonna experience flow separation what you can do is add a degree so it's 45 55 and then 70 or 75 that'll be okay here's a vw head with the valve job the reason why we're showing this is because it's the vw is old school so we're gonna show you something but yeah hit the like button this, the more likes helps because the algorithm will pick it up for more activity and it can spread out to wider audience the channel and i really really appreciate that that's a big help for me guys and of course if you haven't you gotta subscribe this way whenever you go back to log in into your youtube you can actually binge watch all of the other videos that we have because you already subscribed you can check out the playlist enjoy it anytime you like and of course for the hardcore we got nine over 19 videos of ultra technical stuff we've got the, even the valve jobs there and even dyno not just dyno but including tuning the adjustments we made or what didn't make power what made power engine building stuff all the details and tips and tricks or like shop tricks it's over there so for the members only i'll see you guys there all right so okay let's continue this is 040 head vw i've ported it but it's still not yet machined nor even a valve job but look wait you know the cobwebs all right the funny thing is look it's it just has a 45 degree seat that's it there's there's no valve job. this this has no three angle nothing so well, you know, you can't really blame VW. Like, it barely revs over 4,500 4, RPM in stock form. But when they rebuild it, you put a valve job there, a three-angle valve job. It's such a big difference, a big help. That's why when, when people rebuild it in the U.S. and they put a valve job, it runs really good. Here's my old single port head that I used in my 1679 way back. Look, I ported it. And wait, cobwebs again. Look close. It has a three-angle valve job. That's why this really performs really, really good. You can see it there. Yep. This head, I kept it because it performs really good. Now it's going to my brother's VW. That's why back then, someone built a 1776 with stock dual ports. And my 1679 with this head, they were wondering why it's the, about the same speed or it's just as fast or even mine was faster. 
I said I just pointed the head, but of course it had a good valve job. Now next is this Z6 PU8 head that I've pointed. And look, in stock form, Honda has a really good valve job. Of course it can get better with a performance valve job, but the factory three angle from Honda with the D series is good. Of course the K series and especially the S2000 has an even better valve job, but yep, modern cars like this, even newer ones has a good valve job, but of course for performance, you can, it can get even better because remember this is still a mass production car, you know? So when people ask me what helps and all that, that's like three, three angle or five angles. I, I always say both helps. It just depends on the application and what the porter likes. Now let's look at the diagram once again here the seat angle the 60 and the 45 uh, the 30 sorry now let's see it without the you know writings and labels here it is right it's nearly closed not totally closed but nearly closed and this is mid lift it looks good right then look at low lift so basically that's how flow is passing through the seat and the valve yes and the mid lift yep it's getting good right so now let's go back to low lift let's pay attention to this section here over here now let me tilt the picture. Look at that. Don't that look like a Venturi? Yep. And of course, let's go back here on the low lift. And now let's go back to almost closed here, right? And that's the 45 degree C, you can see it, right? Now imagine with the valve job, the same angle, we just narrowed the 45 degree seat. And look, it's actually, pay attention to that area, okay? Now we're gonna tilt it again. Oh, look at that. That's a way, way better Venturi in my book, right? So now if you look at it, this is the stock one with a 45 degree seat that's wide. The narrower one, you can see it flows more. And people will say, you drew more lines. Well, that's because there's more space, right? The narrow seat does that. And even the mid lift is so, so good. This is how big of a help a valve job is. And let's look at the di another diagram here. Never mind the blue graph or the green graph. Okay, let's focus on the red lift curve graph. So here, this is low lift, then mid lift, then peak lift, then back to mid lift, and then low lift. So when you think about it, you see low lift and mid lift twice in one valve action. You see max lift just once in the sequence, like low lift, mid, high, and then mid again, and then low. So if you improve low lift and mid lift, you get the return really good. Like the performance, the, the help on the performance and flow is really, really good. Of course, improving high lift flow is also extensive, extensively good, sorry. But low lift and mid lift gives you better return because, you know, the valve sees it twice. And that's why, you know, it's really important. And I've known, for example, Dave Colaglio, owner and operator of Head Games, in New Jersey. I've known him since 2004 or probably earlier because we started talking through Honda Tech in the forums. And funny thing is to this day, more than 20 years later, we've never talked about what angle we use and what not because of course what works for him, he knows it and what works for me, I know it. So, you know, we just talk about all the different things, but you know, a lot of DIY people would ask what angles is good. Like, you know, it, it's not always that you can always choose all that like you're at the mercy of what the machine shop that you go through has so if they have a good performance cutter or valve job that's good or you can also buy, buy your own cutter from Newen or from Serdi that's fine you can choose all the different angles that you want choose it and then test it and then you know you'll know what works for you that's exactly that that's also the story why Jasper or ECU later's B20 VTEC here I'm open to sharing all the setup, what parts we use, because hey, that's just the parts. The assembly of the engine, even all the stuff like this, makes a big difference. That's why this B16A with just ITR cams made over 210 brake horsepower or 186 wheel horsepower. And that's because I focused on low lift and mid lift. Of course, the head is ported good. And of course, on the manifold, I tried to do my best in porting it to give a high lift flow benefit yes so more technical stuff like this we have a playlist you can just click it here